All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadas. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic. Don't abandon the milk, okay? Do not abandon the milk, okay? The milk is extremely important in this truth okay and um us is, you know we 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 have to understand that when we go out and we uh teach this word that um more often than not um the people when they come into this word if they're if the if it's meant for them that they'll more than likely come in from listening uh, to the um, to the milk, okay, the basic uh scriptures, okay, the 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 the, the um the straight up doctrine, okay, the key points to the doctrine, okay, the the milk links everything together, okay, um, in this this uh word, okay, but um. Don't abandon the milk, okay? Sometimes it's good to go back over those scriptures that you already know, okay? Maybe the scriptures that you already have in your mind. And if you if you just know that one scripture, okay, you just continue to break that down and you grow from there, okay? But um, even if you've been in it, you know, for, um, you know, years or whatever the case may be, it's always good to go back into the milk, not just... The, the uh the um the doctrine and the scriptures but also um and and to uh the spirit okay when you first came into this truth okay you had that passion that zeal you know of wanting to learn and um wanting to grow okay you, you sometimes it's good to go back into that spirit okay of how you was when you first came in you know and sometimes brothers uh, tend to lose sight of that. But this is uh, Hebrews 5 and 12. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, right? Sometimes, you know, more often than not, you have brothers who um, use this scripture towards uh, scoffers, you know, who want to uh, come out and, uh, you know, uh, say these different things according to the doctrine, you know, that, that, that is contrary to the doctrine. You know, these scoffers want to be teachers, but, you know, they go off on the, the key points as, as far as the scriptures. You know, brother, you know, they, they, they say Esau um, is the so-called Arabs and um, Babylon is, uh, um, what is it, uh, the, the Vatican and, you know, different other um, aspects of the, the 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 crazy doctrines that they bring out, but us as brothers, it's, it's good to brush up on the 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 key points of the the Bible, okay? Because that's what's really going to get people to 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 get into these scriptures, okay? That beginner friendly, okay? When we teach it, teach the milk. It says, "For you have need that one teach you again." Which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh by Shemiah Sha. Okay? We go through the scriptures and you see what, what's in there. Okay? Even if you know the scripture, okay, well, we know that we're supposed to, 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 to grow a beard. Okay? Through the scriptures. Okay? That's that's like a milk scriptures. Okay? But it's good to go through that. Okay? And, 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 um, and, and bring it out. You know? Bring out the fact that we supposed to uh to have beards, you know. This this allows you to um to be able to to bring out more points so that people when they hear it, you know, they'll they'll be edified, you know. And I'm gonna get that scripture, Hebrews. I mean Ephesians four and twenty nine. It says, "Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth." You go out to teach, okay? You gotta understand that you know the spirit that that's on us. Is of your help us you outside. You know, we not out there to be Mr. Breakdowner, okay, on the, the highway and hedges. You know, if you're gonna be Mr. Breakdowner, 
being Mr. Breakdown of the of the milk, you know, and not trying to make a name of yourself. It says, but that which is good to the use of edifying, okay, spiritual upbringing towards other brothers, okay, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, you know. But continuing on, it says, uh, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat, you know. So, so our mindset supposed to be on trying to to get deeper into, you know, the scriptures, okay. But we have to get back into that milk, you know, and not not abandon it, you know, not not forget that that's where we came from, okay. Um, especially if something something um, you know, goes wrong or or if you get uh rebuked or on, on anything you know what I'm saying more often than not people get rebuked because they they go off according to the scriptures you know or they get reproved you know through the spirit so you have to understand that when you go out there and you go teach it's good to teach that 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 milk okay to the to the new people that that are going to um come in and listen to this word you know this is um Hebrews 13 and 9. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, because there's a lot of them out here. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace. Okay? Not with meats which have not profited them, which have been occupied therein. Okay, not with the, the, the heavy parts of the scriptures. You have a lot of people that want to bring out these, you know, super deep breakdowns of the scriptures and you know. Just want to be the man that gets a thousand views, you know, on a on a um on a video, you know, of uh, 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 of them um bringing out some some uh crazy thing. You got a lot of these other groups out here that like to bring out um crazy things, and they be getting a lot of views. But that's not what this really is about, man. You know, we we about the the fact that we doing the the, the will of the Lord, okay. Whether you're getting five views or whatever the case may be, that the people who, who are watching it are, are able to be edified, okay? And they may be able to use that that video, okay, or the, or the fact that you said those things and take that to someone else, okay? Um, is 1 Peter 2 and 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Okay, you got you gonna keep on growing in the spirit. Okay, if you if you um are a babe in his word. Okay, this, the the um apostles brought out about how um you know how how long you have to be in his word to be an be an elder. You know, but when you when you look at a lot of the apostles, you know they bring out a lot of a lot of the scriptures that. That a milk to to the, when when you first come in, you'd be like, oh, I, I get it, you know, them them key points that are going to be necessary for you to get into the kingdom. Okay, that's what what is necessary. Don't abandon that milk. I'm gonna get this scripture, Isaiah 55 and one. Ho, everyone that thirst, come ye to the waters. And we it's a lot of stuff that you can always go in on um when it when it comes down to the Bible, okay? You don't wanna you don't wanna bring somebody that's thirsty out to the waters, okay, and taking them into some straight up deep waters and you just drowning this guy. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna drown nobody. You know? They they just thir they thirsty, you know, give them some water. You know, and, and they're going to keep on coming back if it's meant for them. It says, and he that has no money, come ye buy and eat. Okay. You don't want the, 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 the person to come and to get, um, you want to, you want a person to come and, and, and get a good, you know, some good food up in them, you know, don't come and, and, you know, for, for, um, for nothing, you know, if that man don't have no money, you know what I'm saying? You 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 they 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 come up, okay, and you don't want to be giving them no um straight up uh uh high pricey meat, you know what I'm saying? That that they can't afford to to, to eat, 
especially as a newborn babe. It says, yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Okay, the, the, the key points to the scriptures. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? And that's what these people do at the churches, you know. And your labor for that which satisf satisfies not. Hearken diligently unto me, eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Okay? This ain't no GMO milk that we giving people. Okay? We need to be giving the, the, the key points to the scriptures, okay, and breaking down what's necessary. Okay? So, once again, man, don't abandon that milk, okay? And if you find yourself in a situation where you um, want to go deep, you don't got to go all deep. You know, just go back on, into the scriptures, you know, the especially right now. Apostle said, you know, um, three videos a day, you know, but that's not a, a an, an order, you know. But if you going into that milk, you know, you're going to find yourself in a, in a, um, another level that, oh shit, you know, the, the, that scripture links in with, with that scripture even more, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to find yourself at a deeper level, okay, than you was before. And then, and then that's when you're going to be able to go into deeper parts as far as the scriptures. The Lord opens up your, your understanding even more, you know, if he hasn't already done it, you know? But don't abandon the milk, man, because that's very, very important, man. You know, we're not out here to, 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 to try to make a name for ourselves and be uh, super deep, okay? But with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say shalom until next time.